Sum Jeng Ngojo. The President, please be seated. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. Ang Jeng Brah Bako. The chamber is now back in session. Le reprenons l'audience. I would like today National Co-Prosecutor -Pros to verify the document which was raised for discussion earlier before the break on the relevancy of that document to the fact which is being discussed at this time. And secondly, I would like to remind you to provide us the details of that document, the ERN number and other identification of that document so that the parties can take note of this, can search for the document and examine it from the case file. So the floor is now for the national co-prosecutor. National co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. The national co-prosecutor attempts to rest the document Le as uh, previously before the break is the concern about the list of people who were sent from M16 on the 23rd of October 75 with the ER number 00 9 Four, seven, and the English EIN is as follows: zero, zero, for the documents which are related to the list, uh, I do not intend to discuss those documents. My main focus is only on this list. Thank you, Mr. President. Judge Cartwright, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. You say that this list uh, of 25, 26 people, in fact, uh, is a list of those sent from M13. Is that what you're telling us? Co-prosecutor. Thank you, Your Honor. Je remercie, Madame la Juge. Let me just read the list of the people who were sent from the Thai border. I, I want to know if you told us a moment ago that these were people sent from M13, because it's not on the document, the English translation of the document. There is a reference to M16, but there is no reference to M13. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Your Honor. In the list, it is from M16. Could you tell me what relevance this list has to S21 and CPK policy? Co-prosecutor, thank you, Your Honor. Le co-procureur cambodgien, je vous remercie. We rest the list of these names of the people who were sent from Thailand, because amongst the people in those 25, 26 people, 
There were people who were in or related to case 001 and 002. So what we want to know is that during the time that he served as the chairman of S21, had he ever received any people who were sent from Thailand to S21 through M16? And also the office of the co-prosecutor noticed uh, an annotation on the list which was sent from M16. And we believed it is the annotation of the accused. And we want to verify this annotation as well as the list, whether he received the list during the time that he served as the chairman of S21. Durant la Thank you. période pendant laquelle il était à la direction de 21, il a reçu une Present. telle liste. Judge Lavergne, the floor is yours. Monsieur le juge Lavergne, je vous en prie. Microphone, s'il vous plaît. Alors, je vais reprendre. Nous avons un document en Khmer avec une liste de noms et je vois au bas de ce document une annotation, ici, en bas, à gauche. Est-ce que c'est de cette annotation-là dont il est question Parce que pour ma part, je pense qu'elle est assez peu visible. Ou est-ce qu'il s'agit d'une autre annotation Co-prosecutor, thank you, Your Honor. At this time, I want to talk about the annotation on the left, as you said. And I want the accused to verify whether he can recall that it is his annotation and what is the complete reading of that annotation because parts of the annotation is illegible and cannot be read. President, the co-prosecutor, you can put a new question again to the accused and the accused listen to the question and try to respond relating to the annotation on the document which is being discussed. La question et à y répondre s'agissant du document qui lui est présenté. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. The question for Mr. Kangayev is, is the annotation yours and what does it mean in full? Et quel est son sens complet? The accused, l'accusé, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président, this annotation, although is half legible, bien qu'elle ne soit qu'à moitié visible, I acknowledge it is my annotation. Although the signature is missing, but it is my annotation. Il y a une partie manquante. Il s'agit bien d'une annotation que j'ai portée sur ce document. And for other matters, pour ce qui est du reste, related to the 25 or 26 Khmer people, I cannot recall at this time. The co-prosecutor, Mr. President, my apology for the interruption. Can I ask the court official to present the document on the screen? The president, le the IT unit, you can link the screen to the computer screen of the co-prosecutor in order to protect the document in question.
Can the IT unit please show the annotation which is towards the bottom, which is now acknowledged by the accused as his annotation? And what does it mean in full? This is for the accused to collaborate. The accused, thank you. Mr. President, I can only read a few words from this annotation, and the title is My Respected Brother. This is a copy of the letter which 25 Khmer people were sent, and the rest is eligible. I cannot read. So I cannot read the rest. I can, I, I can only read the first part of the annotation. Co-prosecutor, the co-procureur, Mr. Kang Gak Il. Mr. Kang Gak Il, do you acknowledge that you received the 26 people and one uh, amongst those 26 died? Did you receive uh, this group of people, the accused, on this matter? When there is my annotation, it means they arrived. And probably this letter arrived with those people. However, I had to make my annotation to my superior that, they were, that these people were sent to my location. As it is said, this is a copy of the letter when the 25 people my people were sent. So it means before they arrived, my superior would inform me, and when I received them, I would send this letter through the superior. So this is based on my analysis of this document. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Kangil. Mr. President, could you instruct the IT unit to return the screen to a normal screen? And I, the National co prosecutor have no more questions for the accused. I will hand the floor to my international co prosecutor to continue the questions to be put before the accused. The President, the IT unit, can you return the screens to the normal screen of the chamber? The, the floor is now for the international co-prosecutor. Thank you, Your Honours. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour, merci, Monsieur le Président. Dit le co-procureur international. Mr. President, if I can ask that uh, document D69/18, ERN number 0000-5248. Uh, be placed on the on the screen through the prosecutor's desk. This photograph is a photograph we believe to be of the accused during the uh, uh, DK period whilst he was uh, chairman at S21. The president, the IT unit, can you link the co-prosecutor computer again? Liaison avec l'ordinateur du co-procureur de manière à afficher son écran sur nos écrans. While this is uh, occurring, uh, Mr. President, I'll just explain the line of questioning I would like to ask um, Mr. Kang Guk Eve. And basically, Mr. Kang Guk Eve, it's in relation to how the policy or how the, pol the killing policy at, uh, of the CPK 
was um, instituted at S21. You've discussed that uh, you were responsible for the education and training at S21, and particularly in relation to this killing policy, just so that uh, the court has more of an understanding of how you actually did this, how you yourself did it in a practical day-to-day -day way, um, it would be helpful um, for the, uh, certainly for the prosecution to hear this. But before I ask you some questions, um, I'll just briefly put um, the summary of what uh, you've admitted to in court. Mr. Kangook Eve, you've testified that the policy of extrajudicial executions was disseminated at S21 annual meetings of the entire unit, as well as it was disseminated at the meetings of the various subunits. You have also agreed that you disseminated the, this policy, this killing policy, when responding to Judge Cartwright's question by saying that the political, ideological stance and education regarding the enemies, it was I alone who is entitled to grab a mic to educate people in that unit. It is true. Firstly, when the first question I have for you, and if you can keep your answer reasonably brief, that is, when you say it was you alone that was responsible for educating people in the unit in relation to these policies, and you were alone entitled to grab the mic, are you saying that literally or figuratively speaking? In other words, was it you alone that could introduce the CPK line of killing the enemy at S21? The accused, uh, Mr. President. Before I respond to the question, I would like to clarify on two matters. One is the line. The class and the class struggle. And the CPK policy is that the enemy has to be smashed. This is the general policy of the CPK. And nobody dare to violate it, at least number one. And number two, for those who were sent to S21, S21 never requested for the arrest. Those four groups of people are designated in the decision of the 30 March 26. They sent those people to S21. And number three, which is the question raised by the co-prosecutor, S21, I was responsible for the politics and for the policy and as a general uh, chairman. So for political training regarding the enemy and the operation of the interrogation, only I was responsible. So for example, regarding this microphone, I had the authority over this microphone that is at the school at street number 95. And the school was facing the west, which is opposite to my house. I marked letter E on the skate, as shown by the co-investigating judges. So I can verify that I alone provided the political training at S21. This is my response to you. Thank you. I just have a, a follow-up question in relation to the Merci. photograph, um, where it shows you sitting here with the microphone in front of you. You said that uh, that photo was taken at um, the, uh, the School of Political Education for S21. Is that right? L'école d'éducation politique de S21, c'est exact. The accused. Mr. President, 
the education I gave was uh, the the to the interrogators annually, and I educated uh, in general. Et je dispense aussi une éducation générale chaque année. Thank you. And I thank you. Merci du coprocureur. I thank you for keeping your answers brief so that Merci we can move through the topic bref, as efficiently as possible. d'avancer rapidement. In relation to uh, the annual meetings. Pour ce qui concerne cette réunion annuelle. Um, how many meetings did you have during that period Combien for the whole of S21? Combien y a-t-il eu de réunions pendant cette période pour l'ensemble de S21? The accused, Mr. President, Réponse. I have no documents to prove, but I can give a response through my recollections, recollections whether it is wrong or right, and uh, we can discuss further. Regarding the annual si meetings or Mais pour ce qui est de ces educational annual session annually in 1975 during the Congress I, I conducted the training in 1976 I also conducted such session and in 1977 my superior Son Sen who led uh, the Congress himself or the, 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 the meeting himself maybe on the 24th of April Je pense 1977. Avril, 77, and in 1978, en I also chaired the meeting. Qui la réunion. So, in conclusion, although when Nat uh, was still the chairman, Donc, I si still Nat grabbed the mic uh, to lead the meeting. C'est moi qui uh, animé la, Thank you. la session. And the, uh, the annual meetings Question. for the entire staff at S21, how long did they go on for? S21, was it a day, de temps? or a week, or, or a few hours? Semaine, ou de quelques heures? Response. Réponse. So far as I remember, the meeting lasted souviens, for one day. If there is any un jour, uh, study session, then uh, the session would uh, take longer. For example, uh, people longtemps. would be broken into, uh, uh, broken into exemple, groups to discuss the documents. Then uh, the revolutionary biography had to be reviewed Ou annually. That's why in such meetings it would last année. even one week. Ce qui fait que les sessions pouvaient durer jusqu'à une semaine. Thank you. Um, Question. These meetings, when were they held? Were they held at the same time every year or at different times in 75, 76, 78, 75, and 77? 77 et 78. Response. I think uh, we still have some documents to prove uh, the meetings, but uh, let me put it this way. Réunions. The meetings, pourtant, je me souviens, uh, when the establishment of uh, S21 uh, was established, was uh, conducted after 1975, and I could not remember when exactly. So every meeting at S21 was conducted uh, after I studied at the political school of uh, the general staff. So after having learned uh, from that uh, session, then I would uh, uh, held this uh, meeting. Mr. Kangakee, you've agreed that um, Question. the policy of extrajudicial executions was disseminated at the annual meetings of the entire unit, and that's of the entire S21 unit. Is that correct? Response. It can be put in two ways. On peut le dire de deux façons. Which uh, have parallel meanings. You are mentioning about the extrajudicial killings, but at that time we taught the 
people about the à class struggle. Nous on parlait I think de lutte des it is identical, although the wordings Cela were different. Uh, the, the wordings for the communist party and the wordings for the uh, international legal in, in this, uh, international legal concept. Au droit pénal international. So I think the education regarding the class line and la, um, pour notre class part, struggle were subjected to be trained uh, to the people and, uh, who were our subordinates and we had to do our best to make sure we could avoid being killed. At that time, our staffs, even if they could uh, derive from the political line a little bit, then they would uh, be killed. At that time, uh, I remember ja sorry, a co-prosecutor, Jaria, asked me about the purpose for the recruitment of staff at the S21, and I told him that we focused on their class nous mettions l'accent sur leur origine de classe et leur statut de classe. Et puis, M. Jaria m'a demandé si je m'inquiétais aussi de leur formation antérieure. Je n'ai pas dit non, je recrutais des gens pour nous aider. So in order to avoid uh, being punished, then we had to stick to the puni, political lines uh, valued uh, by the party. So now I can du tell parti. you that uh, regarding the international uh, laws, uh, this is what we call extrajudicial killing, although back then we know that it's just class struggle. On ça Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kangaki, um, you're doing a very good job at uh, responding to many questions from uh, all parties. And so to try and lessen the load in that area, I would just ask that you answer the question, the very specific question that I asked you, so that we can move through um, the questioning um, a bit quicker. You said the uh, annual meetings was for the entire unit of S21. So how many people would go to that annual meeting, those four annual meetings that you had each year? Response. There, are, there were a lot of staff at S21 when I Le était nombreux à S21. conducted the meeting, annual meetings. Normally, only the annuelle. leaders of the, chi, uh, the sections or, or group uh, were uh, invited. Uh, maybe invité. there were about 30 people Je in each session. De personnes par session. And Question. when you say the leaders of each of the groups, you're referring to the, the defense unit, the guard unit, the defense unit, the document unit, the document unit, the photographic unit, all of those units and others. Is that correct? C'est bien de ces services et de ces unités qu'il s'agit. Responds. I cannot recall how many groups there were actually at the moment. However. Uh, the groups you mentioned Mais covered uh, those groups because there are three groups parler. in the interrogation team. We have the hot, uh, the cold, the chewing uh, group. The, from each group we selected group one person and on uh, attended the meeting at all, at all times. And people from the special force, uh, uh, we had uh, managed to get two or three of them and from the defense uh, uh, group and also from Prezar. Some of them were also selected to attend the meeting. So this is how it worked. Uh, but I could not uh, remember how many groups there were. And uh, frankly, I, I cannot recollect it. Thank you. But in terms of the annual meetings I'm referring to now, not, not particular trainings of subunits, but in relation to the annual, annual meetings, you stated that they took, I think, one day. So are you saying that 
à des annual meetings, de dire ces annuelles, different groups had representatives and came for sessions throughout that day. Et venaient pour Or are you saying journée, that there was an annual meeting day for each une of the particular groups that you had sessions with? Dont vous avez parlé. Kim responds. Réponse. I would like to clarify that I think uh, perhaps the way how we worked was different and I tried to talk more. Each group had their weekly meeting uh, in their respective groups. The members at S21 had a la livelihood uh, meeting in which uh, self-criticism were also applied uh, once every two weeks. And also the Youth League also had uh, such meeting or self-criticism sessions. And uh, in particular, when there, is an a there was an annual meeting, so there Quand il y avait was a annuelle, clear political line that uh, a lot of people were invited to gather for several days. For example, the Congress on the 24th of exemple, April 1977, when my superior came to uh, attend such a gathering, and then he left uh, after the morning session, and then we were broken matin, into groups to discuss some documents. Then we conducted documents. a cross-check of uh, biography and revolutionary uh, biographies, for example. This is how we uh, conducted voilà the session. And when we noted that uh, uh, there had been some important things related to uh, the key interrogators, then we would just invite uh, those responsible Respect to uh, groups of people to attend such training or such uh, sessions, and after that, uh, those sessions, they would go home and then uh, conduct or, or continue uh, working in their offices. Le travail au niveau de leur groupe. Thank you. Was attendance at these meetings, these annual meetings, compulsory? Response. Response, Mr. President, the attendance in such meetings La à ces sessions. were selected from S21 by the committee at S21, and uh, they, it was compulsory, and by way of selecting them also. Était obligé de venir. Thank you. You've said Question. earlier Merci. in your testimony Vous in relation to M13 and also in, in relation to S21 that S21, um, innocent people were brought into these organizations and they were made, made to kill, they were transformed. You said that as an educator, your job Vous was to dare them, to dare them to interrogate and to dare them to torture, which seems to imply that from being innocent or from not wanting to do that in a natural way, that somehow or another um, you had to encourage them, you had to dare them to interrogate, dare them to torture, dare them to carry out the CPK killing policy. At these annual meetings, how did you do that? How did you encourage people to carry out this killing policy? Response. This question, I think, in Khmer translation, it is the innocent people who entered S21 
Uh, I'm 13 or S21. As I understood, if you look at these terms to be debated, I think it would be rather complicated. The people who were arrested and sent were made, uh, the decision were made by the four groups of people, and I refer to the four groups of people only after the third years of March 1976, before then there were only two of them, the standing committee and the secretary of the zones. Before the 17th of April 1975, when the zones decided to send people to S21, then those people were regarded as enemies. So if you compare to the laws in force in other countries, then we called it des lois dans d'autres pays. Il s'agit effectivement d'arrestations extrajudiciaires. Uh, some... misunderstanding. Um, I'm sorry. Le I think you misunderstood my question. Excusez-moi, je crois que vous avez mal compris ma question. I was actually referring to the staff at M13 and the staff at, at um, S21 and how uh, the staff at the staff at S21 and how how you would encourage them to carry out this killing policy. And now I'd like to refer you to a statement you made um, earlier in the case. In response to a question uh, by Judge Laverne on the 27th of April 2009, at page 88 to 90, you testified to the education and training of youth interrogators to the direction of crime and cruelty was the same at M13 as S21. You said, in effect, you stated you changed young people from innocent to cruel. You train them to, in an extreme situation, to dare to interrogate their race and do anything they ordered. You said you train people in this cruel movement to kill people, detain people. You said education played an important role to make innocent people cruel. You said the one who made the education was me to turn them to the extreme, to be absolute. So the question I'm asking is at these annual annual meetings where you say the policy of extrajudicial executions was disseminated, how did you do that? How did you encourage them to do something that they would otherwise not want to do? Uh, the questions that I have I would like to state further that I think it, it has the basis from these wordings that we used. If we stay firm when it comes to the term innocent people, then I think there would have been controversy in implying si the words. Because when people were sent uh, from the standing committee or, or from the zones, uh, were presumed enemies already. And after the 17th of April 1975, uh, people who sent by the four groups of people were enemies. And uh, it's easy to convey the message of the term uh, uh, of those people. As I told Judge Lavenge, uh, we educated them to have a absolute uh, class stand because when people who were sent to S21 were regarded as enemies, this is how I taught them. If you did not regard them as enemies, you could never uh, extract confession from them. So I taught to every cadre uh, to regard the de people who were sent as enemies, otherwise we would have contradictory 
uh, opinions uh, toward uh, the parties, and we would be ending up in ha having problems ourselves. So we had to be able to beat the enemy because uh, it was allowed by the party, and we could never arrest anyone, which is contradictory to the political uh, the, the party's line. So I think this is how it operated. So we use. This language, although it is different from what people could uh, view the, the wording, so it is just the philosophy of how the communist uh, people would like to uh, use at their time. So the crimes derive from the uh, proletariat class stance. And perhaps would it be fair to say then that you're saying that the annual meetings were more philosophical in terms of the party line, and would it be fair to say that the meetings with the subunits on a more frequent basis were where it was explained how practically to carry out the party policy, the killing policy? Would that be fair? La ligne politique du parti. Est-ce que cette description est correcte? The accused, Mr. President, Can I would like to respond as follows. If we talk about the other units, we are talking about the various units within S21, Nous various de sections, sections of S21 office. Qui S21. So we are not talking about various units which are not under Nous the S21. All the works that I did, I educated, le I que fait supervised the implementation and the direct, directing them for the implementation of the CTK policy. This is my short answer, and I am not sure whether it reflects Là, to que your question. Bref, je ne suis pas sûr de à votre question. Thank you, Mr. Gangokiv. I, I would like to. Just before I move off from Avant the annual meetings and what you practically did there and start to talk about the, the, the meeting units, of the, the meetings of the subunits, can you, can you explain when the annual meeting commenced, were you the only one that actually lectured at those meetings of the CPK policy, the only one? Étiez-vous le seul intervenant Je vous Mr. President. Réponse. I would like to respond as follows. In lecturing the policy at S21, as I have repeatedly said, je dit and déjà I would like to make clear this time, I the only one who teach the policy for the entire S21 unit. Du parti pour des services qui S21. And, and just to be clear, this is the policy teaching Question. the policy of killing, of smashing. De la du PCK, is that correct? Enseignement de la politique consistant à tuer et à écraser, n'est-ce pas? The accused. Réponse. The policy included all. La politique du parti comprenait tout cela. Importantly, the policy of being absolute. Et il fallait être absolu. Or the strategy to defeat the enemy from one stage to the next, which was taught by the party. That was the policy. Voilà ce qui était visé par I la did not uh, object or reject. But because the language is slightly different, so maybe there might be a misunderstanding. When I taught annually, I taught it repeatedly, and the language of Pol Pot is that when you walk, the sword, the, the sharp sword is the one that is used, not the one which is in its case. So you have to use it to cut it, and then you have to sharpen it. So the comrades at S21, I, the first one who implemented the uh, duties assigned by the party, and after that I taught my subordinates, that is, I sharpened the sword and then I used the sword again. So that is my uh, practice. So when you talk about the killing, it is in a case which is a bit hard to understand each other. 
si so this is my response. Il faut faire attention aux termes que l'on emploie. And would you agree with me that I mean, education and training at S21 in relation to CPK policy was extremely important and important enough that particular buildings were set aside for that purpose. And if I can go on, you stated that you took over the Bethlehem Church near the compound and then for about two years a school was built a, an education and political school was built for the purpose of training S21 staff. Is that correct? The accused, that is correct. I used a, a church, the Bethlehem Church, as a training an ideological training for the unit. And later, we built a small school near my house on the east of Street 95. So I did provide the training at the church and also at the new school. But uh, I, I provided more training at the new school. Why was it decided to build a training school? Why was it decided to build one rather than just use a house in the area like you did with for interrogation de construire un nouveau bâtiment plutôt que d'utiliser un bâtiment à proximité du complexe the accused my school was on the ground floor it's about half a meter above the floor au rez de chaussée à 50 cm and about 50 or 60 people attended the training and for the villa within the compound of the s21 as you have known the would not be able to accommodate such amount and at that church, it was far from my house. So it's difficult when my superior wanted to speak to me on the phone. So I decided to make a new school near my house so that I would be able to answer the phone when the superior called. Thank you. And the, the new school that was built, it was built directly opposite your house in walking distance. Correct. The accused, uh, Mr. President, facilement. let me respond to this question. Exact. -moi, the new school was the, to the left La of my école house. It was just one block away. Gauche de mon, uh, domicile, juste à un pâté de maison. Uh, you said that... Um, the school, the school was near your house because you may have been on the phone to, I, I can't remember what you said, who you said to, but you may be on the phone to Sun Sen or, or one of your superiors. Why was it important for you to be so close to the training school? Why was it important for your house to be so close to the training school? De votre domicile. Pourquoi? The accused. L'accusé. This is uh, the view for the practical benefit. Il s'agit de questions. If uh, my superior, some si called me, then the phone operator would run to call me. So eh then I would run from the school to meet him on the phone. Venez me chercher. So this is for practical reason. That's all, nothing else. Thank you. And you made the decision for the school to be built near your house. Is that correct? De construire cette école à proximité de votre domicile. The accused. That is correct. Thank you. C'est exact. Je remercie. Mr. Kangook Eve. Question. Monsieur Kangook Eve. You appear to be saying that training was fairly frequent. Otherwise, um, it would be difficult to keep communications with um, Sun Sen if your school was too far away. How frequent were the trainings at this school? The accused. Thank you. Mr. President, let me respond to this question. 
it it has happened for over 30 years now so the documents that the co-prosecutor might have in their position regarding my training at the school so i think it's also mentioned in the notebook of brother mom Nai. And in that notebook, it has the E N zero 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 seven seven six one one two zero 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 seven eight zero five six. There were more than there are more than three hundred pages. So toward the end, I provided a frequent training, as mentioned in the notebook. So that was the content of my trainings, which was written by Momna in his notebook. The, Mr. President, the IT unit, can you disconnect the computer from the co-prosecutor and switch the normal view on the screen? Mr. Co-prosecutor, you can continue your question. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kangogiv, we're not referring to particular documents here. We're just referring to the comments and the statements that you've made um, to the co-investigative judges in this investigation to ask you these questions. And perhaps now we're moving away from the uh, annual education sessions where this killing policy was disseminated and moving more to, as you say, the, the frequent trainings that were conducted at S21. You've testified already in this case that from the beginning you took over the Bethlehem Church for the purpose of education of cadre and combatants. And you've also said today that shortly after that you built a training school opposite your house. When you say for the purpose of education of cadre and combatants, who are you referring to? Is it S21 staff? Did you classify them as combatants? Can you explain a bit further? The accused. Your Honours, Madame et Monsieur les juges, this uh, issue is repetitive. C'est une question, but I would like to verify repetitive. that maybe there is a misunderstanding on this point. The meetings and the annual trainings, I collected a number of people, including the cadres, the, the members and the youth leagues members and the ordinary people who were in charge of a certain section. That is for the annual meeting. Separately, the frequent training that I conducted was for the purpose of the interrogation team, so only for the interrogators, and only selective group were selected. That means fast attack, fast success. So after the, the morning session, they can return in the afternoon to implement what they learned, that is fast attack, fast success. L'après-midi, séance pratique, à savoir attaque rapide, réussite rapide. Le co-procureur. Maybe relate more to the next part of the case, but whilst we're on the point, when you say the training was fast attack, fast success, from training in the morning to actions in the afternoon, can you explain what you mean by fast attack? in the training. What were you saying to these interrogators? I use uh, two words. One is to use the sword frequently and it becomes more sharpened. So the interrogator cadres, which are under my supervision, in order to implement their duties, let's say to implement or to execute their duties, they were in a state 
of uh, facing obstacles or challenges Ils se retrouvaient dans des situations and où then they would des need advice from the superior regarding the, the lines, the ideology. So then we recall them for training Donc nous les and after the training après la they will have or they are equipped with new knowledge. Let me put it this way. De from the view that I use from the operation ainsi. to theory de la pratique, de when la you la are in operation Lorsque it means you understand more about the theory and when you go and look at the theory again then you know more about the operation so it becomes like a spiral circle of operation and theory and that's the method that I implemented so fast attack fast success is within this uh, theme Attaque rapide, that means rapide. if we have one hour to, to train, si then I would use one hour to train. And if there is half an hour to train, then I would use that half an hour to train. So that is, it falls within the circle of Donc, operation and theory. Fait partie de la would it be fair to say that um, at S21, uh, particularly with the interrogators, you transformed theory into practice, into practical advice for the interrogators, so they knew how to get the confession? The accused. That is Arracher correct. Thank you. Se reprend l'interprète. L'accusé, c'est exact. Je vous remercie. Thank you. You Je said that um, a lot of the training for the interrogators was done on a very small group basis or on an individual basis. Um, but at the same time, you said it was important that a school was built um, that could have 50 or 60 people in it for training. So, other than the annual meetings, which obviously are just once a year, and other than the, the small group fast attack, tra fast attack training with the in interrogators, what other trainings would you have in that new school that would require you to have that larger space? Quelles étaient les occasions qui nécessitaient un groupe plus grand? The accused, Mr. President, let me respond to this question as follows. Je vais répondre de la manière suivante. This training, when it is full, it was only for the annual meeting. Ce bâtiment Especially when the superior attended, it, then I would gather as many people as possible to attend his lecture. Besides that, for the fast attack, fast success, there will be probably five to ten people for the training session. And it happened probably once a week, ten days a week, or a fortnight, or a month. And it, it lasted half an hour or one hour per session, or probably less than two hours. And usually it's for one hour session. This is my response to you. You've, you've given us the, the frequency of the a training with uh, the interrogators at this new school from uh, once a week to once every two weeks to, to once a month. Um, would it be fair to say that, um, that for periods of time through the operation of S21, through 76, 77 or 78, through some periods of time, there was definitely uh, trainings of interrogators for once a week with up to five or ten of them there at any one time? Because you've given a few options there. Puisque vous nous avez donné dans votre exposé différents euh, options. The accused. Let Accusé. me verify that. Permettez-moi de préciser. For the frequent training that I provided. Pour les séances de formation. It was so frequent in 1978. Eh bien, celle-ci n'était 
pas mené de manière 76, aussi fréquente que cela en 1976. Uh, yes. Je ne m'occupe pas de la fréquence existait en 1978 quand nous étions so beaucoup de travail. Je ne devais encore plus fréquemment, well. plus fréquemment les interrogateurs par voie de conséquence. Um, you said that the training was a lot more Question. frequent with the interrogators uh, during 1978. And just to confirm, that's because the numbers of people that were detained at S21 were far higher than any other year, 77 or 76. Is that right? Response. I think it depends on the number of people who entered S21, but uh, this was not interrelated, I guess, because people who were uh, called to attend the trainings more frequently was because I personally uh, could understand the strengths and weaknesses of the situation regarding the enemies. La situation uh, through the presentation I uh, learned uh, from the party, so it answered to the demands of the party that we conducted more frequent uh, meetings. That's one point. So it, it was not based on the uh, numbers of people at S21. Number two, it réponse. depended on the cela frequencies of uh, 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 la uh, the needs. Uh, uh, the party needs, uh, for example, the party may uh, need it uh, us uh, more than we need it uh, more times, uh, more people to uh, be trained or to be polished. Plus de personnes that's, that's why uh, we had uh, more frequent meetings. Pour nous avons tenu, um, plus uh, you de said more frequent meaning, meetings, but really you're talking about more frequent trainings. Is that correct? Response, Response. Uh, we did not actually meet uh, much, but when we met, it, it was more about education sessions. So when we met, uh, then we talked about the theory and then we uh, execute uh, the measures to be executed. Um, thank you, Honours. I notice the time is five past twelve. I'm wondering whether Honours wants to break now or I can continue. Je me demande s'il ne serait pas sage de s'arrêter maintenant avant de poursuivre. The president, Le président, we will take uh, an adjournment uh, for lunch break, but before we take uh, the break, we would like uh, the floor to be given to Judge Lavergne. Cela, nous souhaiterions donner la parole au juge Lavergne. Oui, je, je pense, Monsieur le Président, qu'il pourrait être utile pour euh, la poursuite des débats que nous ayons une idée de la durée pendant laquelle Monsieur euh, le Procureur entend euh, questionner l'accusé sur la mise en œuvre de la politique du CPK. Um, thank you, Judge Laverne. Um, the, the line of questioning was in relation to how uh, Mr. Kangook Eve uh, conducted the trainings, and uh, I was to ask him further about meetings with other subunits where the policy was uh, disseminated and, and uh, the self-criticism self meetings where the policy may have been disseminated. I, I would assume, based on this morning, if I could have one more hour uh, maximum with, this, uh, with the accused, um, that would be appreciated. The President, uh, 
We now take an adjournment uh, for lunch and uh, resume at 1.30 p.m. The security guards please take the accused back to the waiting room and bring him in by 1.30 p.m. The parties to the proceedings are also advised uh, to come by 1.30. Mm -hmm.